Do you remember that video I added in shell source code so I can make workspace thumbnails larger? Now we can do the same much easier by using an extension. So if you see my shell like that, just know it is in the default. I only wish! And so, as always, we start with a default shell. And first thing we want to do is to open the official extensions app. Hmm? The first thing I want to mention here is actually the dash to panel extension. Usually this extension is already ported on GNOME beta releases, but unfortunately I don't see it happening for GNOME 40. Which will be a huge shame, since this extension will perfectly fit with this new shell design. Anyway, let's open the extension we actually care about right here and right now. And I will begin by disabling the search box. That's a big request from many people including myself. Basically it hides the search box, unless we actually need it, and for touch devices we have a gesture anyway. And now we made some extra space on the top, it's time for the main video event, and supersize our workspaces previews. Default is 5%, and we gonna make it 10 as I had originally done on the previous video. So now we have this thing and I believe it works better than the default. Meanwhile, the thing you should know is that those rectangles aren't automatically scaled. That means that by setting the size to 10%, we can host 9 workspaces max. Usually I work with 6 workspaces plus 1 the empty. Or 7 at the worst, so 8 in total. So that numbers are okay for me. For comparison, on App Picker Overview, the workspaces are dynamically scale their size depending their number. Just like that, you got the difference? Oh, and did I tell you I'm learning Portuguese? X server is feel you to puta, and Nvidia mote de merda. Ah, and a new thing I missed so far, is that if we move an app to the dash, that will be gone from the picker. Actually I don't know if that is a bug or feature, but definitely is wrong design. Okay. This is completely out of scope and topic for another video, but you know what's the biggest difference between GNOME 40 and elementary virtual desktops? What if we don't, but we don't either want to know? Team Malakas Mini Ine E Chino. So in GNOME we have this window, and we want to move it to the right workspace. We can do it from here, or just drop it to the next one, like that. And then go here, and move it to the next one. And to the next one, and so on. But on elementary we can do the same with a single move. We can catch the window and continuously drag and drop it anywhere we want. And anyway, I believe GNOME should also allow such behavior. And I also believe elementary desperately needs to remove this icon transformation. <laughs>